What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to another mukbang. Today we are having a dim sum feast. Mm -hmm. It looks delicious. This is all from Fashion Dim Sum. Yep, and drop the address like somewhere around here. Yeah, and I, I've been craving dim sum, so I'm very excited about this. Yep. And they have this cute little piggy, piggy bun, which is filled with custard. custard. Yeah, egg um, custard. Yeah. yeah, but in today's mukbang, we don't have any specific topic that we're going to talk about. We might just eat, we might talk, mm -hmm. but we hope you guys enjoy regardless. And don't forget to let us know what your favorite dim sum dim sum dish dish yeah <laughs> dim sum dish is down in the comments below okay so let's just we're gonna start eating we have do we need to talk about what we have here yeah let's go over it real quick we got chinese broccoli we gotta uh, AKA, have some greens yep <laughs> aka gailan uh shrimp hakao uh, in english it's called shrimp steamed shrimp dumplings <laughs> pork shiu mai yep piggy, piggy buns, buns. Uh, deep fried taro ball. We got uh, spare ribs. Oops, oops, sorry. Spare ribs with black bean sauce mm. and chicken feet. Yeah. Which is Hui's favorite. Mm -hmm. some. And then last but not least, we got some soy sauce chow mein. Yes. All right, which one are you going to go first? Uh, of course, I got to go for the classic. Yeah, me too. Show also, mine. Look how this is the only one that has the shrimp. shrimp on top. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And of course, we need some chili oil over here with some soy sauce. Yeah, it's a staple. It's a must-have. First bite. Mm. 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 Mm, that sounds meaty. Mhm. Mm mm. Delicious. It's, it's meaty, it's firm, but it's also soft at the same time. There's this texture between, a mixed texture between ground pork and ground shrimp, all mixed together. So it's like there's a bounciness from the shrimp. And it's slightly seasoned, so it's like savory enough. So when you dip into the soy sauce with the um, chili oil, man, that's like so good. Mm. Mm. We haven't had dim sum in so long. This is so good. Yeah. Mm. Making me very happy right now. Mm. Okay, get some nudes. Get some greens. Oh, this is a big bite. I don't know if I can do this. Chinese broccoli with a little bit of oyster sauce on top. The chow mein has like a slightly charred flavor and it's oily. Yeah, it's like when you, they, they stir fry at a very high heat. So you get the smokiness and the charness. Mm -hmm. The charness? Is that a word? I don't know. I don't know how to eat this. Let's just take the whole thing. There's no proper way to eat it. You just have to no, bite and then like... drop. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Start from the stem. You guys, taro ball oh, falling apart. But hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm failing. Failing oh. as a mukbanger. <laughs> yeah. So got a thick layer of taro, gra uh, ground taro, and inside there's like some fillings i don't know what it is and then on the outside you got like a crispy layers that they deep fry it in so you got like the nuttiness of taro and then you got the savory pork flavor mm. actually it's like bacon in there is it um uh, yeah it looks like there's some crunchy thing mm-hmm Time for a shrimp dumpling. Mm. 
I think this place is honestly one of my favorite dim sum places. Mm-hmm. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. It is like a little bit on the pricier side because these are all made to order. Like they don't do the normal traditional way with a like a cart. Mm-hmm. But it's so good. I think because it's made to order, it's so fresh. Mm-hmm. High quality. Mm -hmm. Mm. Let me chew first. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes, like some places, they try to be cheap, and like mm -hmm. when you eat the shrimp dumpling, it's just like mushy. Yeah, and not a lot of shrimp in it. Yeah, this is like filled with shrimp, um, and then it's foam, and it's take. You can taste the fresh shrimp. Let me show you guys. You can see it's like all feel around like the pink part like all the shrimp mm, how's that spare ribs Good. sorry you're biting <laughs> okay but real talk do you guys like chicken feet <laughs> it looks a little creepy like yeah yeah. Look like the chicken is flipping you off. <laughs> it does look like that. Well, this one is only have one. Now yeah. you have three. What the heck? This is like straight up. This like... one only has. Yeah, they only all have two. Yeah. What happened to the third? I think they just chopped the oh, one maybe. feet into yeah, like smaller yeah, pieces. Okay. Cheers but to chicken feet. Cheers to chicken feet. We actually both really like chicken feet. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. So if you didn't know, for chicken feet, you only eat the, what is it, skin around the bones? The skin and the collagen right. part? Yeah. Like all the tendons around the, their little fingers. And then what you spit out is these, uh, these bones. Mm -hmm. So chicken feet is one of those dishes where, if you look at it, it's like gross. And it's, the concept is weird. But because the skin is soft. And then you get to the tendon and like all the collagen part is like bouncy and firm and kind of chewy. Yeah. Once again, it's like that contrast of flavor and texture. Yeah. And it's honestly all about the sauce. The yeah. sauce is what makes it. Yeah. What so. makes one good dim sum place stand out from the other is the sauce. Because mm -hmm. everyone, you know, make it a little bit different. So this place, the sauce is, it's a little bit, there's a hint of spiciness. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet. So it, it's sweet and savory. And so it helped cut out like the fattiness from the like the layer of fat on the chicken feet. And fun facts, I got a little kind of excited when I found out that Audrey can eat chicken feet. Because, <laughs> you know, like, you know, when, I, when we were dating, I was like, wow, like this white girl can eat chicken feet. It's like, score. This taro thing literally just falls apart in your mouth. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like melting in your mouth. Taro is such a good like ingredient. People should use it now. Mm. You got some noodles? Mm hmm. I should. Mm. Mm. Big bite, big bite. Some veggies, some spare ribs. Just like that, I got myself a little. Stir fry noodle chow mein bowl. Mm, let's see. Mm. The smokiness never fell. Smokiness? Mm hmm. Oh, like the char? Mm hmm. Mm. And if you're wondering why we're not eating this, it's because this is for dessert later. That is so good. Mmm. Spare is good. Mm-hmm. It's very soft. It's flavorful. Wow. 
There's honestly nothing that's not good. Yeah. Not Actually, I missed dim sum. I didn't realize that. <laughs> this this hit a good spot. Let's just say this was my idea. And Hui is just realizing now that it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you ate chicken feet? Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. How old were you? 17 years old. Oh, really? Here? Mm-hmm. When I moved to America, I didn't eat chicken feet in Vietnam. What? At least my mom didn't feed me. I'm sure they have a chicken feet dish in Vietnam. Yeah. But most people eat it. it just, they just boil it. And they just eat it as like drinking food to you because it's chewy. So people just like kind of like, like... Oh, not like dim sum version. No, not like dim they sum. They just have... Oh, I know. Like the boiled with... And you just dip it in fish sauce, right? Mm -hmm, and you just like... And you just gnaw on it. Gnaw on it, yeah. So the first time I had it is like... Actually, a week after I came to America, my, my aunt family, they're like, Can you have dim sum? I was like, what's dim sum? They're like, oh, it's Chinese breakfast. No idea. When we went, they're like, oh, you got to try chicken feet. I was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. But then I took a first bite, and my life has changed ever since. <laughs> that is crazy. I had it probably, like, when I was, like, 12. I guess you're more cultured than I am. Maybe even younger. Yeah. It's interesting that you are okay with chicken feet. I honestly don't remember the first time I tried it, though. Like, I don't know how I was like, yeah, I, I want to try this, you know, especially, yeah. like, as a kid. Yeah. But pretty sure it was, like, influence from my dad. And, and he's always like, just try it, just try it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just got to try it, you know. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is one of my newest baby. If you don't know already, I'm trying to be a plant dad. <laughs> this is my baby fig. That I got from Trader Joe's. Ooh, look at how leafy it is. It's my second one. Because I almost killed my first one. So it's not in the video because, you know, it's not good enough. Haven't named it yet. Actually, I don't think I would ever name my plan. But if you guys want to help me name it, also drop it in the comment. And then over here, I got my little baby ZZ plan. I've been having it for like eight years now. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just enjoy like looking at plan and trying to like kind of like take care of it. But sometimes I overdo stuff, so like I almost kill some of my plan. So if you can relate, let me know. Mmm, mm. it's so good. I'm getting pretty full though. Dim sum is like the best breakfast food. Honestly. So good. We're just missing some hot tea. Mm -hmm. We should have made some. Yeah, I think the tea helped cut down the like oiliness of all the food. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think I'm ready to move on to dessert. Let me finish my chicken feet and then we can have the dessert together. Okay. Okay. Piggy bun time. Oh no, it's so sticky. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Ooh. Oh, look at that custard base. Mm. I mean, obviously, this would be better fresh because, like, the custard just oozes out. Mm-hmm. But still delicious. It's creamy. Slackly Luffy. sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like it that it's not overly sweet. Not overly sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Best way to end a dim sum mukbang. And on that note, we will end this video here. We hope you guys enjoy this video and join us eating this feast of a dim sum. 
If you do, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel for more yummy food mukbang video in the future. And don't and last but not least, <laughs> don't forget to keep winning, winning at life. life. See you next video. Bye.